Hello, my writers. So I'm here today to talk to you about what you're going to be doing this week. Last week, hopefully you watched the two videos on me showing you how to gain information from the videos that are on the slides. So your goal last week was to pick an animal and some of you might have even started to gather facts. We talked about how we had to divide our paper into four parts, right? What they look like, what your animal eats, what they do, and then something extra, special information, information that seemed interesting that you heard that doesn't go in our normal categories. All right, so you had to do that yesterday. If you did not do this last week or you don't have this paper still, you might want to pause this video and take a, find a paper and make it look like this. So if you don't have your paper still from last week, okay, or if you lost it or didn't do it, pause, make it look like this. Hit play when you're ready. All right. So your paper, you have a paper now that looks like mine. If you're hitting play, that means you're ready. Okay, hopefully last week you picked an animal that you want to work on. So I'm just gonna flip over to this screen where you see, remember this was our research animal room and you could look through and all the different animals, there was tons and you can click on the different rooms to see what animal you want. You need to make sure this week that you have your one animal that you wanna write about, okay? It doesn't matter which one you pick as long as it's not pigs. And you'll see on the pigs page, it has me on top of it because that's the animal that I picked. That's what I was giving you examples of last week. Okay, and I'm gonna continue on using the pig to show you examples. So your job this week is to, one, have your animal and finish gathering your facts. You wanna take time every day to click on different videos. For example, I have the shark one up. You have lots of videos here that you can click on. There's extra books down here if you have a grown up that can read to you. Okay, some of these I believe are not, are sometimes when you have videos down here, they're not always, um, ones that you could listen to. Sometimes it brings a book up that you have to read that you might need a grown up's help for. But try every one just to see what it has on there. Maybe you can get a grown up to read to you. Okay, you can even practice drawing. You can try drawing your animal. Okay, so I really want you to explore the side slides this week. Your goal this week is to have all your facts done. So take time every day for writing this week. Click on a video, listen to the video, and gather facts. You want to think about what they look like. Okay, so look, listen to facts. You might gain only one fact from one of your videos, so you got to listen to another video and see if you can get more facts. What they eat, what they do, Okay, and then interesting information. So by the end of this week, you should have information on each block. So I have four facts on each one. You, my first graders, need to have at least two, uh, two or three. I want you to shoot for three. I'd like you to have three facts because I'm giving you a whole week to gather your information. So each box, mine have four in them. I have CL, I have four facts. Okay, four facts. You only need to have two or three. If you have more than that, that's great. You don't have to have a ton, whatever facts you want to get, but you need at least two or three in each box. Okay, so I'm going to have another video on here as well that goes back over one that you saw before to remind you how to gather your facts. You're gonna rewatch one of the videos that I go over how to gather the facts. Remember, they're facts and not sentences that you're writing down, okay? You're using this to help you. When you finish this week gathering all your facts, don't lose this paper. If you lose your paper about your animal, then you're gonna to have to start all over again because next week you're going to use the facts you gathered to write your nonfiction story. If you lose this paper, then you have to start over again, okay? And you're not gonna have a lot of time for your writing, okay? So this week, take time, watch each video, facts. Okay, that's what I want you to do. You can rewatch one of our old videos about how to gather our facts, about how to listen and how to pause the video so that you can understand how to gather the facts. All right, boys and girls, I can't 
I can't wait to see what you find out about your animal. Hopefully you learned something new.